Happy Easter, Popper fans. I am Brent Cook, and today we're playing Cycle Storm in the Sunday Popper Challenge. I hope you're ready to bring your friends back from the dead because that's what this deck does. So, if you're a member of this channel, you might have noticed that last week I uploaded a member exclusive Cycle Storm deck tech that you can check out in the card above. And in that video, I cover a bunch of different things from why I decided to keep two islands and two swamps with no blue cards in our sideboard. You might notice there's no mirror shell crabs. I'm off it. I go into that in that member exclusive deck tech that you can go check out. If you're interested in watching that video, you can do so by clicking the join button down below. And for $4.99, you unlock all of our member exclusive videos, including that one. So it's a bunch of content for you to watch and it supports this channel, which I would greatly appreciate. If you can't afford to support us monetarily, it's not a big deal. I do appreciate you just watching the free content as well, liking, commenting, whatever. Uh, but those members exclusive videos are there to reward people that support this channel financially. So thank you to everyone that is a member. I do appreciate it. But uh, today we're playing this in the Popper Challenge. This is the first list that's ever ran two copies of Mystical Teachings and two Repository Scob. I liked this deck list so much that after I recorded that first video, I decided to play it in a league. I had already recorded a video that day, so I decided that I wasn't going to record the league. And it blew me away at how good this deck list was. So I was so excited about how good that deck list, you know, performed that I just that I decided I would play today in the Popper Challenge. So I hope you liked the video. I hope I crushed today. And I will see you in the first match. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for a Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month, 15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. Videos. But maybe Sweet Perk Secret Deck List Early Access to Videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for seven tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us. Just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some Magic. Welcome to the first match. We are on the play with Cycle Storm. I love this deck so much. Uh, this is a snap keep. We're going to play this. This is honestly my second favorite magic deck after the Epic Storm. I love playing Cycle Storm so much. Like, I scrubbed out of the Legacy Challenge today, and honestly, I was sort of pumped. Like, I lost the first round, and after losing the first one, I was like, well, I kind of want to play Cycle Storm instead. And then, like, all of during match two, I was like, I think even if I win this, I'm going to drop. Uh, just because I was like, I'd rather just play Cycle Storm. The deck's so sweet. Uh, all right, so we're going to play the Baron Moor and pass the turn. Although I do think if they ever ban anything out of this deck, I might be done with Bopper, just because I feel like it would kill my love for the format. All right, we're just going to grab a Swamp here. We, we don't really need the Island quite yet, and I'm just going to cycle this Horror of the Broken Lands. So now we can grab the Island with this Ash Barons in our upkeep. Red Green, what are you on? as foretold so it's probably the wolf uh and we can just grab the island here 
draw. Pass the turn. Three mana for Land of War Visionary. Sure thing. These decks were really popular about a year ago, and then they sort of disappeared. I'm glad to see it's back. Okay, Cabal Ritual is a good draw. We'll cycle the healer. This might be a go turn for us. Uh, we have three creatures in the graveyard. We have some mana. I'm going to start off by cycling Street Wraith to get a little bit more info. All right, Dark Ritual. We'll cycle the Horror of the Broken Lands. Cycle Architects. Repository Scob is interesting. I'm going to see if I can uh, hit a Songs here. Keep cycling. Lotus Petal. Let's cycle the Healer. Cycle Healer. Ding! Okay. Now we're just off to the races. Yes, I would love to murder this zombie on Easter. Thank you. Uh, Songs of the Damned. <laughs> uh, we'll cycle the Baron Moor. Teachings. Yeah, I think we want to increase our storm count anyway, so let's uh, teachings here. Get songs. We'll cast uh, songs. Flashback teachings. Just increasing that storm count just a little bit. Songs of the Damned. And now we're going to do a trick here that somebody in the comment section taught me about. We're going to cast songs, so there's... Um, it would make 11 mana. By the time that this Reaping the Graves resolves, ideally it would make more than 11 mana. Okay, just going down the list. And I know that we're down three copies of Songs of the Damned already. That said, um, we do have Repository Scob times two in this deck list, so you don't have to worry about that quite as much. Okay, keep cycling. Let's pull the lands out of the deck. Let's go grab those. I don't want to draw into more land, so this is fine by me. Cycle. Cabal Ritual. Okay. There's another Scop. I don't know if we've played a land this turn. I'll find out uh, when all this stuff is done resolving. And there's our blue source to get back, or to cast Repository Scob. And another one. Okay, Triple Lotus Petal's great here. Just keep cycling. Cycle this Baron more. Cabal Ritual. Cycle the Healer. Another Cabal Ritual. So this is actually going to end up making one less mana because we drew so, so few cyclers. <laughs> Not the end of the world though, uh, it's fine. And we do have another blue source to play here. So we're going to be able to get back Reaping the Graves and a Songs of the Damned. All right, Repository Scob. Let's uh, sacrifice it and get back the Reaping the Graves. Okay, and then we will Repository Scob once again. Sacrifice it and get back the uh, Songs of the Damned. Easy peasy. Songs, reaping, and we'll bring everyone home. Okay. Oddly enough, we have not found a Dranith Stinger yet. So the bottom like third of our deck has all four Stingers and three copies of Reaping the Graves. Kind of wild. Okay, we're just gonna bring everyone home uh, because once I find some Stingers, I'm just gonna cast them and start winning. Nothing like bringing your dead friends back uh, on Easter. It's just great. All right, let's cycle this horror of the Broken Lands. Okay, ploys, fine. Cycle. Cycle the uh, Street Wreath there. Another Reaping, we'll cycle the Cardio Dino. There's a Stinger. Let's play it. Cycle Architects, Auto Yield to this trigger. Okay. Just want to Auto Yield to these because you don't want to click more often than you have to. We have 14 cards left. 
we should be able to um, win without having to do any of the stack tricks, but we'll see. Okay. Cycle. Cycle again. Dark Ritual. Cycle this dino. Casual Storm 25, no big deal. Cycle. Okay, cycle the Baron more. Dark Ritual, gotta increase those numbers. These are rookie numbers. Okay, six cards left in deck. Cycle. People sometimes ask me like why I announce how many cards are left in deck. That is a crucial part of playing this deck. Like, yes, I am not close to decking yet. I still have five cards. But if you don't pay attention to that, there will be games that you get bit. It's the same thing with your life total. Like once you get down to like the four-ish range, you have to remember for street rate reasons. So I think it's just crucial to announce those sort of things. But hey, we've got game number one over possibly Jund. Um, so one thing that I do like doing here is bringing in the mountain and then two copies of Shredded Sails for Artifact Hate. So I think you're fine to board out a pedal. You get a little bit of consistency with the mountain uh, by not mulliganing no land hands, and then you just board out the architects. So it is worth noting that with this list, you're down one cycler uh, because you're playing two repository scob. So in post-board games, when you board out the architects, you're going down to 20 cycling creatures, and then you have double scob, blood celebrant to bring it up to 23 creatures but these don't live in the graveyard to start out the game so i just think it's worth mentioning if you wanted to keep your creature count slightly higher you could board out a ploy uh, and keep one of the cyclers but i think ploy is more uh important to how the deck operates game number two so we're on the draw we have one cycling creature but we have a baron moor and this ash burns to fix i think that this hand is fine keep 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 opponent with a mulligan okay so they've kept six cards forest and a relic sure thing okay so we just have to find our shredded sails or hard cast this horror and then you know rush you got it. I guess actually I was supposed to do that on their turn because they just exile the free card from my graveyard. I don't think that it matters, but if you're playing properly, um, they get one less card if you do it the right way. So we're just going to pass here. Okay, so they, they're hitting their lands. We're going to cycle this Ash Barons, go grab another basic out of the deck. And then cycle this Baron more. Well, ritual. So we could accelerate into the horror. I'm just afraid of the horror dying, but maybe that's the line here. I don't really want to give up double Cabal ritual. Like, I think I'd be willing to give up one, but I think giving up two is too many. Land number four. How dare they? Okay. So we could use this as an opportunity to try to win. Um, I guess we'd have to hope to chain cyclers here. Sure. All right, cycle. We found the shredded sail, so we can get rid of the relic now. That's good. Draw. The old blood celebrant. Let's destroy this relic and play the celebrant. Pass the turn. Six mana, so this could be the uh, the boarding party. Disciple, okay. So they're actually pure red green by the looks of it. I thought they might have been Jund, but it looks like they're just pure gruel. Uh, Lotus petal. I think I'm just going to pass here. Utopia Sprawl, you got it. I mean, they have no reason to not attack. Well, I'm going to block. Because I might reaping the graves for value soon anyway. Draw. Another basic. Um, 
I'm just going to pass. So all of the basics are out of our deck at this point. We have the one island in the graveyard. So if we draw any future Ash Barons, they are lands that tap for colorless. Boarding party. You got it. So we are now incentivized to uh, reaping the graves for value. And they reveal the, um, the monarch card. So they've created storm forest and I can just reaping the graves back our creatures. We'll take nine here going to 11. And for what it's worth, I did draw the, um, what is it called? The shredded sails instead of an architects, but we wanted it to be shredded sails. So this is a game where our deck just decided to not operate that well. <laughs> All right, so we'll cycle the horror here. We need other cyclers. Draw. Um, let's tap the red source and cycle this Vantasaur. That will be card number five in the graveyard. Cycle Barrymore. That's card number six in the graveyard. All right, this Barrymore represents card number seven. And then we can play Lotus Petal, sacrifice the Petal for black, play Cabal Ritual, cycle the Healer. This is only our third Cycler. Okay, that's a good one. More Cycling Creatures. Nope. So we might have to get a little bit lucky to win here. Okay, six mana floating. Cycle. Another reaping. I mean, I'm not going to complain about another reaping, but I do need more creatures. Cycle. Okay, this is looking a little bit better. Dark ritual. Okay. Cycle. Here we go. Um, all right, I guess I'll return it. Cycle. And I'm going to tap this island and cycle the Vantasaur. Get one more man out of this. We have color filtering through the uh, the Blood Celebrant. All right, let's play the Celebrant. Sacrifice this. Play the Scob. Exploit it, and we will get back Reaping the Grave. I'm sorry, Songs of the Damned. Cast Songs. I'm going to pay a life here teachings and we'll go get another songs okay we're making it work repository scob coming home all right selecting all of our creatures uh i think i'm just going to return everything for now you could cycle with all the reapings on the stack to keep the most number of creatures in your graveyard possible but with 13 floating mana i feel comfortable in just returning everything uh they're at 22 I don't think we need to play out a stinger yet and risk uh, fizzling, so I'm just going to keep cycling. We can always play out stingers later. We have plenty of time on the clock. I've already played a colorless land this turn. All right, cycle. Cycle. Lotus Petal. Cycle a stinger, why not? Dark Ritual. 18 cards left in deck. Cycle. Ball Ritual, welcome. Cycle the Stinger. Shredded Sails, cycle. It's from 18. We'll go to 8 and cycle the Street Wraith. Go to 6, cycle this one. Hello, Dihadis Ploy, welcome. Cycle. Um. Okay, I'm going to teachings here for songs. We're getting a little bit low on mana. Cycle this. Cycle. Songs of the Damned. Take one and cast this the hottest play to gain a bunch of life. Discard the Ash Barons. Uh, Dark Ritual. We have seven cards left in deck, which is plenty. Cycle this healer. Cycle the Baron more. Cycle the Wraith. 
Um, we can make a little bit more here. So let's do that. We'll repository scob, exploit it, get back songs. Um, I'm trying to think of ways I could possibly lose this. And I don't think there really are any. So I'm just going to um, get back a Reaping the Graves here. I was trying to think if like they pyroblasted a flashback on teachings if that mattered, and it just doesn't. All right, songs, songs, Reaping the Graves, return everyone. Everyone's coming home. Home for the holidays. Easter being the holiday here. Selecting all of our creatures one by one. 40 floating mana. I wonder if our opponent's like sitting through this because they think that I might deck myself on accident. I mean, I'm pretty bad at magic, let's be honest, but uh, I'm not going to do that. Okay, we're going to turn off auto yields and then add some red mana. Stinger. By turning off the auto yields, you remove any that you had previously that might have been like, um, and I don't think I actually had any this game, but it's just good practice. So that way, if you had any auto yields on like a cycle draw that you don't accidentally deck yourself later. So we'll leave uh, the, all the draws on the stack just to show them that they're dead. Okay, cycle this horror. Cardio Dino, Storm 30. Just realized you were that high. Okay, and that should do it for match number one. So Cycle Storm is defeated. Gruel Ramp? I think it's, this is probably fair to call Gruel Ramp. I wouldn't call it Ponza. We only saw the one uh, land destruction effect, so I'll call it Gruel Ramp. But plenty of magic left to be played. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in match number two. Match number two, we're on the draw. We have double Reaping the Graves, which is okay. Teachings is eh, but we have triple cyclers, so I think I'm going to keep this. I think this hand could be better, but it seems fine enough. Opponent with a mulligan to five right off the bat. I think what we're really looking for out of our hand is to hit land number two, followed by some ritual effects. Okay, Mountain. Suspense Rift Bolt. So I think this hand is a little bit slow. So we hit land two. That's good. But we'll just be lazy and cycle immediately. So next turn, we're probably going to play the Baron more. Uh, we want to find some rituals and fast. We're at 17, opponent. Okay, three cards in hand. Pierced Heart, sure thing. Draw. Ooh, um, you know what? I'm going to play the Baron more here, actually, and just cycle. I think we want to just play out this Ash Barons as a land and keep on churning through our deck with speed instead of, um, like, adding a little bit of extra consistency, I guess is what I'm trying to say here. And I'm going to just pass and bluff the fact that I could have ploy, although I don't know if our opponent will respect that. Three cards in hand. And they're just passing the turn. Cycle. We have not hit any rituals yet, which is a little concerning. There's one. Cycle. Okay, that's good. So now we go to 11. If our opponent's hand is bolt, bolt, fire blast, I'm dead. If I cycle the street wraith. Um... So I have five cards in Graveyard. I'm going to cycle the Stinger. Okay. Question is, do I risk dying or do I just suck it up and cycle the Street Wraith? I think I'm supposed to just cycle Street Wraith here. I mean, I suppose I could uh, cycle this Ash Barons, go get Swamp, and then songs cabal cabal teachings reaping i guess that's the better line because i don't risk death um 
I mean, it feels bad not maximizing my mana with this Street Wraith, but I don't know. And they're F6, so they probably don't have it. All right, let's Teachings. Go get a Songs, cast it, and then Reaping the Graves. This returns everything. So if I had cycled first, I would have had uh, one extra mana, but I'd leave one card in the graveyard anyway. So I don't know. It's really like one mana is the difference on not cycling that Street Wraith. Uh, I guess I'd also have one untap land. Ooh. So that actually changes things. So now I can go to 10, play the healer. And now we can gain some life here. I like this. Let's cycle the Street Wraith, go to nine. Auto yield. I like this as a backup plan to gain some life. They're going to attempt to kill my Blood Celebrant. I'm going to respond and just cycle a little bit. There's no reason to let this resolve. Okay. So I could add blue here, but I've, I would need to hit a ritual to be able to play the scob. Okay, keep cycling. Come on, give me a ritual. It would have to be a songs now, unfortunately. Ding. So lucky. Okay, we'll add blue. You know, I'm gonna add a little bit more blue. Some blue for the road, so to speak. Okay. And we drew another scob. Oh, geez. Okay. It was nice knowing you, opponent, but you dead. You so dead. We'll get back these songs. Let's cycle. Um, let's Cabal Ritual. I don't want to waste uh, any blue mana here. And we'll play another Scob. Exploit it. Get back Songs of the Damned. Cast Songs. And then Reaping the Graves, returning everyone back. Okay, everybody's been selected at this point. And we have 20 floating mana. We can afford to just bring everyone home. Okay, we'll play out this Celebrant. Let's add some red mana here. Play a Stinger. And another Stinger. Okay. So we have plenty of mana at this point. We just need to uh, cycle our way through. So we need 10 cycles in order to win this game. We have a majority of them already in hand. All right, let's uh, thin our deck a little bit here and pull a basic land out. Grab the island. Cycle. And even if for some reason we did fizzle, we'd be at close to 20 life with power on board. So like, even if we fizzled, we're fine. Okay, so our opponent's going to 10 off this. And I could be, uh, I could play out the stinger, but I'm just gonna cycle. All right, opponent's at six. We'll cycle Baron more. Okay, cycle Street Wraith. Cycle the Wraith. And this will do. Okay, that's game number one over Burn. And now we get to board into our triple, and I will say that one more time, triple Gnaw to the Bone plan in this matchup. So we're boarding in the forest and then three copies of Gnaw. Here's the thing about this matchup. I've tried it a few different ways. So I've tried boarding out all four Street Wraith and I feel like the deck lacks a little bit of power when you do that. Uh, so what I'm going to recommend is doing two Architects and then you could board out one of each of these and then keep your creature count pretty high. But I think I'm also fine with just like boarding out a few Street Wraith because they can be a little bit dicey here. And uh, these two cards add a lot of consistency to our deck. So I'm going to try this out. I don't like going this low on creatures, but um, I don't know. Maybe I should do one and one. Let's bring these two architects back. Let's try this. 
I don't want to go too low. Because we do need creatures in our deck for Not of the Bone. I just don't have a solidified game plan. Um, I've been trying out a lot of different things, but I have really enjoyed Triple Gnaw. A friend of ours, uh, Tall Shark and Handsome, posted that they were looking for two English foil Gnaw to the Bones in the Storm Discord. And it made me really nervous because I only own two. And I was like, maybe I should buy the two that are up on TCG Player. And I went and bought the other two. So now I own a full playset of Japanese full Nod to the Bones. I don't think I'll ever play four. But three, three is a good number. All right. So we've opened up a Gnaw. We have a green source and Lotus Petal. What we want out of this hand is to draw more cycling creatures now. D2 Lava Runner. Okay. I'm just going to be lazy in main phase cycle here. There's a creature. It doesn't really gain life though, uh, but it does make the cycle sort of free. Okay, so we're taking a lightning bolt after they played a mountain and a skewer of the critics. So we're going all the way down to 12 now. Opponent has three cards in hand. I'm just going to play the swamp and pass here. Um, you could play out Lotus Petal to represent gaining two with Gnaw. Maybe I should do that. Okay. Because I guess I'd be dead here to like Bolt Bolt Fire Blast. They have four cards in hand. It's certainly possible. Okay. We're at 10. Land number three. So we're going to cycle this Architects. Cycle the Imposing Vantasaur. Okay. Upkeep, let's... Uh, Go grab the forest. Draw. And I think we're going to pass here. Okay. I have four cards in hand. All right, I'm going to take a risk here. I'm going to cycle. I, I thought about doing it in their upkeep, and I just gave them an extra look at Fire Blast. I think I just messed up. Please respond to this if you're going to try to kill me. Yeah, I definitely punted this a little bit. Cycle the healer. Yeah, I did not play this well. And I'm going to attempt the gnaw right now. But I gave them an extra card to look at killing me with this on the stack, and that was a mistake. I should have cast this in their upkeep. Because if they just respond by killing me, I'd have to miracle Songs of the Damned into Baron War Cycle into the other Gnaw. Does Gnaw to the Bone resolve? Oh, I think I'm dead. My punch will come back to bite me. I go to four. Okay. Nah. Ooh, it resolved. They were looking for a bolt effect off the needle drop. Okay. So I got a little bit lucky there. And now I can cycle the Baron more. Cycle the Baron more. We get Cabal Ritual. So we're still looking for a payoff, like a Reaping the Graves, but we're in okay shape. And they're passing. Draw. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to flashback Gnaw here and pass. 21 life. And now we take two going down to 19. Draw. Cycle this Horror of the Broken Lands. Another nod to the bone. Um, I mean, I could go off here. Let's do it. All right, Cabal Ritual, Lotus Petal, Sacrifice for Blue. We'll play Repository Scob, and we will attempt to get back the uh, Songs of the Damned here. You have a Pyro, that's fine. Um, 
Honestly, I think I'm just going to do a value line where I'm going to gain a bunch of life and now we bring everyone home. There's no need to try to force something here. Like I have the luxury of being able to play this a little bit more slowly because we do have so much life. So we're just looking at this reaping the graves as a draw seven. And our opponent had enough. All right, so we are now two and oh. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. Match number two. We're on the draw against Paxi, who's taking a mulligan. This is a pretty easy keep for me. We have Reaping the Graves. We have Land, Cyclers, a Ritual. Pretty good hand. And they've kept six cards. Okay, the Boros deck. Draw. Pass the turn. On their end step, we'll go and get a Swamp. Synthesizer. Looking to reveal land, and they don't. No value this turn. Okay. Cycle this Ash Barons. Grab the Swamp. And we'll go to our turn. Draw. Teachings is fine. Like, it gets Songs of the Damned later. And really, I've loved the consistency that Teachings has provided since we've added it back. I know that I had the Tenno video where I just crushed everything, but when you're not running hot, you really want teachings, I think. Cycle the horror, the broken lands. We drew a lotus petal. Cycle the whoa. Cycle the dino. Blood celebrant. So we want lands and cyclers here. Um, I'm gonna cycle the street wraith. Get a little bit more info. Three creatures in the graveyard at the moment. We picked up a healer. Cycle the healer. Looking for land three. We do not hit. Cycle. Now we have five creatures in the graveyard. Six creatures in the graveyard. What to do? I could just discard the Celebrant. I think that might be the play. The opponent draws off their clue. Blood Celebrant down. It adds to our Songs of the Damned count, so I'm interested in that. The reason I was considering keeping it is that it does give us blue blue for ploy and teachings, but I don't think I'm there yet. All right, we're at 15 draw. We have threshold. Okay. Um, Cabal ritual. Cabal ritual. It's from four. Cycle the stinger. Cycle stinger again. Lotus petal. Very welcome. Okay. I'm going to cast Teachings. Grab Songs. And then I'm going to cast Ploy to increase Storm. But also I can put more creatures to the graveyard. Um, I think I'll keep the land instead. Cast Songs. And now we can return everything but one creature here. I think I want to return the Blood Celebrant. So, like, I guess the decision there is, like, does Celebrant the one creature you don't return? I'm not sure. But I think I want the ability to color fix, so that's why I'm returning it here. All right, let's cycle these. Another Reaping is certainly good. A little Cabal Ritual cycle okay we can cycle this triple okay how many creatures do we have in graveyard we have 10 so i do have this backdoor uh teachings into songs of the damned right now okay i'm going to return let's go to 12 
Hmm. So it would make 11 mana. I think I'm going to flashback. I just don't want to fizzle. And there's a chance that they're holding open bolts for the scobs. And uh, if I'm getting back the celebrant, that's less of a concern. Ding. All right, so we'll cycle the stinger, but I'm going to cast it before we would return uh, the blood celebrant. Okay, add 14 mana, 21 mana in pool. Let's play this blood celebrant. Go to 11. And play scob. The exploit trigger resolves. We'll get back songs of the damned. Go to 10. Repository scob. Sacrifice it. Return songs of the damned. Songs, songs, 40 mana floating, and reaping the graves for 20 storm. Bring everyone back and then start to win the game. Okay, everyone is now coming home. We've selected all of our creatures. I love this deck so much. We had pauper locals for a little bit, uh, but they died out again due to COVID. And I really loved playing this deck in paper. It was so much fun. I think uh, it's like one of those weird things where you have to have good opponents too, but um, like a lot of my opponents were like helping me combo. They'd be like, okay, well, you've played like this many creatures this turn or you've discarded this many creatures and that sort of thing. Like it was never just like one person being salty, being like, oh, your turn takes 20 minutes or whatever. Like it was the two of us comboing at once always, which was like really nice. Um, but also like the Epic Storm mini token pack will help you. So I don't know. Like, I think people are so afraid of playing this deck in paper, but the reality is, like, it's really not that bad. Plus, like, a lot of people enjoy, like, doing it with you. You know, the, like, songs mix how much and all that stuff. Okay. Almost done comboing. Okay, keep it going. Cycle again. And that's game number one. So we definitely want the mountain and the shredded sails will board out a pedal. So then the question becomes, what do you board out? So I think you could probably board out one teachings versus the pyroblast deck, because like these cards do become a little bit of a liability here. Um, and then I think I'm gonna board out one architects. So I think I'm gonna try this plan at least for now. Game number two. Yeah, this hand seems fine to me. Keep and our opponent's taking a mulligan. The opponent leads on a bridge and passing the turn. Draw. That was good. Because now we can go get the mountain for the shredded sails in case they have a relic. Turn one three or turn two three of an inspector, I'm sorry. Alright, so now let's go get that mountain. Draw. Okay. So now we can start cycling and all that good jazz. Three mana. Stone rain. What? That was not very nice, Paxi. How could you treat me like that? My feelings are definitely hurt. Cycle the stinger. Draw. Cycle this Vantasaur. Cycle the Wraith. Swamp? No Swamp. Okay. I um, think we have to get rid of the Shredded Sails. We're not in a position where that card is useful anymore. On the bright side, if I do draw a Swamp, we can go off. Okay, Cleansing Wildfire. We have three Lotus Petals and some Swamps in our deck. I could also draw into an Ash Barons that could do it. Now they're getting in for one. We go to 16, draw. Okay, cycle this healer. I'll take a Baron more. Pass the turn. The Golden Egg. Land. Two mana. Sacrificing the clue. 
Okay, so it looks like we have a window to combo here. Cycle this Vantasaur. Hello, songs! Wow, what a rip. Cycle this healer, or uh, Horror of the Broken Lands, I mean. Okay. Party Town Population Us. I wonder if I should even cast this Repository Scob. I think the answer is actually no. Or at least not quite yet. I just feel like we're too pinched on mana for that card to be the correct choice at the moment. Return Street Wraith. And then the others. You're supposed to always return Wraith first because it just like gets you deeper into the deck without requiring mana, so you get a little bit more information. Okay, cycle. Dark Ritual's good. Cycle the Vantasaur. Horror. I'm gonna hang on to this Cabal Ritual for a moment. Cycle. Cycle. I am worried about a Pyroblast here. Be nice if we hit the... Uh, the blood celebrant or even another paddle cycle okay so pedal was a good hit um i think we're supposed to try deploy here and have that get countered let's try this and they do pyroblast okay so now we play pedal ball ritual Ball Ritual. And now there's a question on whether or not you play the Mount or the Swamp. Uh, and I think you do because we're going to be really low on mana here. Like we're going to have three mana post uh, Reaping the Graves. So it's not a lot. And you have to hit a, a Songs off it if you realistically want to win this. All right. So I mentioned the Street Rates first. That is still true. Okay, so these are free cycles. They don't tie up your mana. We're really looking to hit a Songs of the Damned here. Reaping, come on, Doc, give me a Songs. Go to three. Okay, this is our last chance. And we fizzled. And I'm dead on board. Okay, um, next game. Game three coming up. I'm going to draw a few more. Teachings. Okay, we didn't have anything coming. We were still three draws away. I'm just going to resubmit. That stone ring got me, though. Game three versus the Boros deck. Um, sure. I'm nervous now. After how that game two went. Like, is my poor Baramor going to be destroyed? When I'm taking a mulligan to five. Okay, we're just playing the Baramor and passing the turn here. On turn two, we get three looks at a second land. Our draw step plus two cycles. Draw. That was good. So the question is, do I get the island or the mountain? And I think I get the island because I don't have a, shred, or, uh, a shredded sails yet. Synthesizer. And they can bolt me. Sure. I'm at 17. They have four cards in hand. We'll cycle the Cardio Dino. Ball Ritual. It's decent. All right. Cycle Stinger. Looking for land three. That is a land. You know, I'm going to play. I don't know. Actually, I'm going to cycle. It's not like this hand beats uh, Relic anyway. Pass. Four creatures in Graveyard. Golden Egg. No Pyroblast up right now, and we drew a Songs. Okay, let's see how cycling this Stinger goes. Do I hit another creature? I don't. Uh, I could, in theory, go for it right now. I don't hate that idea. Let's keep our blue count or our blue mana open at least for now. Play Scob. 
just increases storm, but also adds a little bit of mana. Get back the songs of the damned. Cast the songs. Reaping. Okay. Street Wreath first. It's just good practice. Okay, cycle the Street Wreath. Another Reaping. So our choke point this game is definitely going to be mana. Hello, Street Wreath. Cycle. Cycle again. And again. Dark Ritual is a good one. Cycle. Okay. Cycle this. And then that leaves enough mana to go repository scob into the um, songs again. Okay, so we will add some blue. Scob. Sacrifice it. Get back songs of the damned. Cast it for nine. Cycle this bear more down to eight. Dark ritual. Blood celebrant. And I'm going to cast the teachings for another songs here. All right. So we still have two songs left in dock. And then reaping the graves, floating 10 mana. I'm at eight life. I'm noting that because I'm about to return three copies of Street Wraith, so I will be at two. Okay, we're going to two life. Cycle. Cycle again. Just keep cycling. How many creatures are in our graveyard now? 13. So I could teachings right here. I'm going to. I'm going to teachings for another uh, songs. No fizzling. Cycle. Hello, Cabal Ritual. Okay. Now we can return the Vantasaur. Perfect. I'm just going to return the rest from here. Because I know that a bunch of these are blanks. Okay, cycle this Architects. Cycle the Stinger, Lotus Petal, and I'm going to just cast the Ploy here, so that way I don't lose to a Gut Shot on the Blood Celebrant. 25 life is a healthy number. Cycle the Horror. Ball Ritual. Okay. We're doing well. Cycle. We have one Songs of the Damned left in our deck, but we do have... This repos repository scob. Just keep cycling. 16 cards left. And another scob. Okay, so we're in the end game now. We're going to play a pair of scobs for Songs of the Damned. This card's so good. Scob again. Get back another Songs of the Damned. Songs, songs, and reaping the graves from 26. Bring everyone back. I feel like I'm done making Easter jokes. At, at, maybe for now. Uh, let's see how it goes. But I feel like I, I sort of beat the Easter jokes uh, to death uh, to start this off. Seven minutes is plenty time to win. I love this deck so much. Okay, let's just make a bunch of red mana for these stingers. Blood Celebrant's such a powerful card. Okay. Danny DeVito, and then I started Blasting Meme. Okay. Cycle. Cycle. And again. It's from 30 once again. That seems to be the magic number. Okay, so we are now 3-0. and Not quite halfway through this event, but we're running fairly decently. Let's see if we can, you know, do it just as well the last four rounds. 
Match number four, we're on the play. Here we have an, an awkward Ash Baron's hand. We have a decision to make on whether we want to go get a Swamp with this Ash Baron's or uh, keep the Ash Baron's as a colorless land and save this Lotus Petal. Um, I think I'm going to live a little bit dangerously and keep the Petal around. Like We have two colorless cyclers. Oh, I thought we were on the play. Okay, well, I guess we get a free draw here. And it looks like they're on the, uh, the Red Black Burn deck. Okay, uh, I still think I'm going to just cycle. Okay, there's a blue source. There's bolt and land number two. So this is just like a madness burn deck. It's pretty good. There's a black land. Um, I think we should play that out and just cycle. We need some more creatures here. And by creatures, I mean creatures that cycle. Two mana. Kitchen Imp. And we'll be taking three down to 12. Opponent still has five cards in hand. And we are not drawing into creatures. This is not good for us. We will block. Okay, so we'll take two down to 10. Four mana. Discard a card deals two damage to target player or planeswalker. So they have one black mana floating. Alms of the Vein. So they get a madness trigger here and we go to five. So we're dead on our next turn. So I have to try to win off two creatures. Unless I draw one here. Wow. Ah, uh, this is going to be rough. Um... And I can't even get near threshold. If I sack this Lotus Petal, that's six. Okay, so I think we get ploy. Now we sacrifice this for blue. The ball ritual. Reaping back our three creatures. This is embarrassing. Like this draw just was not good. Uh, cycle. It, we have to have, like dark ritual here. Um, cycle into like dark ritual. So I realized I could have played this there for three uh, life, but like three life isn't going to keep me alive. Uh, so I think I'm just dead. All right, game two. That draw did not uh pan out well. So it's tough because this is like one of the few matchups where they have both Graveyard Hate and obviously a Fast Clock. I don't think you're allowed to respect their Graveyard Hate, if I'm being honest. Like, it, your deck just can't afford to. Uh, so this is the only matchup where you actually liked having Dissenter's Deliverance because you could board both Not and Dissenter's. But I don't think we're going to uh, play into that. So we're going to board out one Teachings and... An Architects, and then two Street Wreath. Actually, we should board out uh, a Petal. So let's do this. It's worth noting that their Graveyard Hate is usually Nile Spell Bomb, which is easier to beat than Relic, but obviously is still very difficult. Game two on the play. Sure, we'll try this. Opponent with a Mulligan. All right, we're just going to lead on the Barrymore and pass. On our second turn, we'll play Island, pass, and then on their end step, cycle the Barrymore and the Vantasaur. Knock to the Bones a good pickup. Let's try to find our forest. Vampire's Kiss, okay. So we'll cycle the Vantasaur. I still think I want to cycle the Barrymore here. Okay, draw. Love being able to pick up the forest. That's good. And pass the turn. Duress. We're just going to let this resolve. There's some world where if we didn't have Gnaw to the Bone, you could burn your entire hand here. Uh, you, you'd go like Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual, 
uh, let dress resolve and then cycle a bunch, but it's just like not the play. Okay, well now we can afford to do that. So, uh, dark ritual, cabal ritual. I, I realize that we're not getting full value out of the cabal ritual here. That's fine. And now we just let this dress resolve. Cycle. Cycle. Cycle the Street Wraith. Um, I'm going to cycle the Vantasaur. You could uh, flashback the Gnaw, but I, I'd rather just get deeper into the deck. Unfortunately, we haven't hit any action spells here. Okay, so... All right, Noble Jukabog. That's good. Draw. Another land. We're flooding out hard here. Okay, pass. I'm going to sit on this knot to the bone as long as possible. Three mana. Stone rain. Okay. I don't want to have to sacrifice the lotus petal, so I think that this is fine. Draw. All right, deck. I'm asking you for an action spell. We have one Teachings and four Reaping the Graves. Kitchen Imp. Red Mana. Wildaren Epicure. Sure thing. Still three cards in hand. Okay, so now what's nice about the Carnariums in this deck is that you can then discard lands later to the Blood Tokens, so they're getting a lot of value out of their lands. Good draw. Okay, so we're going to try to do something meaningful here. Uh, let's Songs of the Damned. Cabal Ritual. This is basically just a draw for, so this could fizzle still. Uh, return Stingray. I, it doesn't matter. Street Wraith. And then the others. Four cards. Come on, deck. Cycle Street Wraith. Vantasaur. Not to the bone is obviously fine. Cycle. Cycle. Keep moving. Cycle. Floating the black for at least now. Stinger. All right, we fizzled. Um, I've not played a land yet. We still have one swamp in the deck, so we can go get that out. Pass the turn. So we're halfway through our deck at this point. They're using a blood token. Ouch. And the other blood token getting rid of an extra land. Four cards in hand. And now they're getting in for three. We go to 15. Repository Scop is now an out because we found the first Reaping the Graves. Ploy's good. Let's cast that. I think I'm going to be a crazy person here. I'm going to discard the Gnaw to the Bone. And just pass the turn. Well, actually, I could cycle. I could Dark Ritual Cycle Cycle, see if I hit... You know what? I'm going to go for it. Cycle. There we go. Cycle. Songs of the Damned. Cycle this healer. Um, let's flash back the Gnaw. So now the question is, do you want to jumpstart the ploy or just cast Reaping the Grace for six? And I think I'd rather leave my blue mana open for the two repository scobs that are still left. Okay. Street Wraith. All right, Cycle. Down to 38. Another Gnaw. So many bones. Cycle. Celebrant's fine. Cycle. Okay. 
21 cards left in the deck at the moment. Draw. Another wreathing, but we're short on mana. Cycle. Uh, and then this is getting back a healer. I'm going to Dark Ritual, because I might end up flashing back this ploy. Cycle. Okay, 18 cards left, again. So I'm a mana short of using this scob, uh, so I'm going to jumpstart the ploy. And... Do I want to show them the third gnaw? <laughs> I think the answer is like you're actually supposed to. Okay, feeling pretty good now. Songs. Cycle. Again. Alright, so this brings me down to 12 cards in deck. Cycle. Okay, so we need the repository scab to live. So if they have removal here, it's a little bit awkward. Got a blue. And scob. Exploit. It looks like they have a removal spell. Okay, not the end of the world. We have a healthy life total. And now we can just reaping the graves, everything back, and try again next turn. Get the stingers just in case they have graveyard hate. Uh, Street Wraith. I guess actually that's what I was supposed to do here. Is I was supposed to return Street Wraiths first in case um, I hit a Songs of the Damned. I just messed up. All right, let's cycle here, see if I hit. Okay, we might be able to still win this turn. Um, draw. Let's try this again. Go to nine. All right, I'm gonna dig a little bit deeper here. Cycle. Cycle, down to seven. Uh, okay, we're passing the turn. Cycle this. We'll play out the Lotus Petal. Pass the turn. Okay, everything selected. Keeping both scobs in case we... We're going to need Storm Count to win. Like, that's pretty much just the truth here. Okay, so we'll take three down to 41. One has three cards in hand. Bump in the night. Draw. Okay, time to go to work. War Ritual. War Ritual. Repository Scob. Exploit. Okay, so we'll get back Songs of the Damned. And another Repository Scob. Exploit. 13 minutes on clock is still plenty. I know there's another game, but we don't need to rush this and mess up. Get back songs. Okay, and let's cast these. Stinger. 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 Songs of the Damned. Let's uh, flash back and just for storm count and then reaping the graves. Target the repository scob. And at this point, it just doesn't really matter. Okay, we'll just return everything. Kind of fortunate our opponent never drew a Nile Spa mob in this game, which is what we need to win because we're not boarding in the shredded sails. We can't afford to. Okay, cycle. Another one. Uh, we can play that out. Stinger. Three cards left in deck. Cycle the Horror. And at this point, we can just uh, cycle. We don't need to draw any more cards. 11. Each cycle deals four. Okay. And the final one. Game three coming up.
I don't think we're going to make any adjustments. This seemed fine to me. Yeah, let's just submit. Game three versus the Rakdos burn deck. This hand is an easy keep for me. Okay. Turn one mountain. And there's passing. We're going to play the Bear Morn pass. Carnarium. No burn spells yet. It's a little shocking. Um, so I could get the forest here. We saw land destruction out of them. So I'm going to grab an island and uh, sit back on the forest because we don't even have the Gnaw to the Bone yet and I can't afford the forest getting destroyed. Molten Rain. Sure, I'm going to cycle this healer. We do have this backup Baron Moor over here. Draw. Let's cycle uh, Vantasaur. I want to see what my land options are. Okay. So we did take two off that Molten Rain. We're at 18 life. And another Molten Rain. That hurts. Okay. Draw. Cycle. Okay. Cycle. Need Black Lands. Vampire's Kiss. We're at 14. They still have five cards in hand, too. And a Kitchen Imp. So we're about to be at 12. And they have four cards. 11, and they have three cards. Jeez. We don't have a lot of time here. We have to find a Black Source. Um, Cycle this Stinger. It's not good. Um... I think we discard the ploy, because if I draw a black source, I can just win the game now. I don't need to worry about that. But my time is very limited. The Molten Rain plan might have gotten me here. We're at eight. They have five damage on this. I could be dead right now. Duress. I mean, my hand's kind of duress proof. I just need to draw a black source. We have three Ash Barons, two Swamps, three Lotus Petals. They took teachings. That's interesting. Come on, deck. Please give me what I need. Fiery temper. I could just be dead here. So this puts me to five. All right, this is it. It's got to be it. Draw. They color screwed us. They got it. Ah, oh, damn. So close. So close. All right. I mean, can't be too like they accomplished their game plan here. Like you can't be like, oh, your deck was whatever. Uh, they did their thing. We had double black source. They got both of them. Let's take a next peek. OK, we weren't hitting it anyway. All right. So we're three and one with three rounds left to go. Playing your favorite combo deck and paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm mini token pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens. That's 128 tokens total. And they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for grape shot everyone's favorite storm wind condition, a galvanic relay exile indicator, four treasure tokens for strike it rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has slime time live. Eve progenitor ooze tokens with the power and toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice. We've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing modern. And then Squirrels versus Goblins, Chatterstorm versus Empty the Warrens, the Battle of the Ages. You definitely need 20 Squirrel tokens and 20 Goblin tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. Match number five, we're on the draw. I think this hand is fine. We have two cycling cards. We're not planning on ever playing this Baron more. And it looks like Boros again, okay. Swamp and pass the turn, and then we're going to cycle these two over the next two turns, hopefully finding some more cycling creatures. Picking up uh, teachings is fine here because it gives us a little bit of flexibility. Okay, I'm just gonna cycle this. Cycle the horror, pick up a Cabal Ritual, draw. 
All right, Island Pass. Seeker of the Way. Okay, so we'll take one, and we're at 19 now. Cycle this uh, Dranith Healer. I'm going to cycle the Baron more. Just because it, it ties up our black man a little bit, and I love drawing the Reaping the Graves here. Okay, pass the turn. Still only two cycling creatures at the moment. We have one in hand, but we'd like some more before we attempt to win the game. Experimental Synthesizer, okay. Synthesizer triggers. What does it reveal? A golden egg, okay. So now they can play untapped land in a golden egg, which will make the seeker of the way into a 4-4 four, four, and attack for 5, and we'll be at 14. Um, I'm just going to cycle this he healer now. Dark Ritual. Um, okay, changing game plans. I'm going to pivot, and I'm going to return these. I just don't think we have enough fuel. So I'm going to go for a smaller game plan here. And we're going to um, just, we have this teachings to get another one later. I need the velocity, I think. All right, hit the F6 key. And we'll take five down to 14. Draw. Okay, cycle healer. I'm going to cycle this street rate down to 12. Repositories. Are we going for it this turn? I mean, I could. I I think now's the time to go. Ball ritual. Cycle. Cycle. We can get back the reaping the graves with the scob. The ball ritual. Cycle. This brings us up to six creatures in the graveyard. Scob, and we'll get back the reaping the graves here. Sacrifice it. Okay, let's cycle this, Songs of the Damned, play the Blood Celebrant, um, okay, I'm going to Teachings for another Songs, it leaves us with two Songs in the deck, and Reaping the Graves, we'll get back Repository Scob, this is from 10, Street Wraith, and then the others. All right, cycle. And again. Ding, that's a good one. Feeling really confident in winning this game now. Oh, we we definitely have this. Okay. The only thing uh, stopping me now is me. We're, we should cycle this because we still have this Lotus Petal to uh, cast one of these songs. So we'll do that now. Go up to 10 mana. Cycle. Down to five. Cycle. Okay. Just keep cycling. Looking good so far. Okay. Dark Ritual. Still four more copies of Reaping the Graves. And then this one is going to return the Scob. So with that on the stack, we'll cast Song so that way it makes an extra mana. Let's add a blue, and let's gain some life back. Get rid of the Sash Barons. Lotus Petal. Cycle the Dino going down to 20 cards in deck. Let's uh, cast Teachings, why not? We are all out of Songs of the Damned. I did not realize that. Uh, it doesn't matter, though. We can get a Cabal Ritual. We only lost one mana. Repository Scob. Exploit it and we will get back songs. Songs again, 26 mana. And now we return everyone and just start winning. Looking through. Okay. 23 mana is plenty. Okay, let's add some red. Cast a stinger. Cast stinger. Come on, why aren't you casting? There we go. All right, start cycling. 
19 cards left in deck. Cycle. And again. Dark Ritual. Lotus Petal. Ball Ritual. Why not? Cycle the Street Wraith. Again. Again. Dark Ritual. Let's start our cardio. Let's uh, cycle this dinosaur. Cast a stinger because I can. Why not? Cycle. Okay, just have to do a few more here. And that's game number one over the Boros Bounce stack. Once again, we board in the mountain and then two copies of Shredded Sails. I think you can shave a Teachings and an Architects. Oh, and then obviously you have to board out the pedal. All right, am I back? Okay, it looks like my audio might have cut out there. I don't know how much of game number one we lost. Uh, I'll have to check that after, but we're back. So in case I didn't get the sideboarding, we brought in a mountain and the shredded sails for uh teachings i don't know why but my mic has been just like dropping out recently i'm not super happy uh but anyway let's get back to it i think we should keep this great furnace and a relic okay so we don't have the shredded sails um and we don't have the mountain you could like turn one street wraith but that's just like never going to win this game Okay, um, let's cycle this, I guess. Okay, there's a red source. I mean, I could hard cast Vantasaur, that will show them. Um, I'm gonna cycle Street Wraith here. I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but. With how my hand's constructed, I can't beat this a regular way, so I think we're going to have to get a little bit tricky. Okay. Cycle. Dark Ritual. Let's ploy. All right. We can just go to game three. That did not uh, go well. I was hoping that I could like chain into like songs of the damned or something and get them to break on the relic and it just didn't work. All right, I think I'm just going to resubmit here. Okay, on the play for game number three. This is a fine hand. We'll keep this. We do need to find the red source for the shredded sails, but it's a pretty easy keep. Opponent going to five. Hard mulliganing for that relic. All right, Swamp Pass. Planes and Thraben Inspector. All right, I'm gonna cycle the healer here. I'm not sure if we wanna play out this Baron Moor or not yet. Okay, now we can cycle the Baron Moor. Boros Garrison, sure thing. We'll take one going to 19. Cycle the Baron more. Cycle Street Wraith. Cycler? No dice. Draw. Cycle this. Cycle. All right. Still not going to play out the Baron more yet. Synthesizer and a Red Elemental Blast. Okay. Seeker of the Way. So we'll go to 16, draw. This might be our window here. Um, we have four in the graveyard. All right. Um, cycle this Baron more. Okay, that was good. I'm going to play the Ash Barons and cycle the Shredded Sails. I like that as well. From three, we only have four creatures, so I think I'm good with just returning 
here off the Reaping the Graves and not using these songs or these caveat. Okay. Cycle. Cycle down to 10. Dark Ritual. Still two creatures to cycle here. All right, looking a little dicey at the moment. All right, we hit our first creature in a while there. That was good. Cycle again. Ploy. I think I'm going to cast the ploy because I can discard the celebrant to make a little bit of extra mana here. Okay, we're back up to 20. Songs, Cabal Ritual, and I'm going to cycle the Stinger. Cycle the Horror. That was good. Uh, so now I can get back Songs of the Damned with this Scob. Okay, where are you, Songs? There you are. All right, so this makes 10. Reaping the Grace floating 11. Street Wraith, Street Wraith, and then the rest. Okay, then just click randomly. Okay, so we'll start off by cycling these two. Thanks to the Dehada's ploy, we gain some life back. The Lotus Petals are welcome because they allow us to replay the Repository Scob, uh, but I guess we do have a Blood Celebrant somewhere in there, so that's not a huge deal. Down to 25 cards in deck. Uh, we won't cycle that. Okay. We read down to 14. Cycle this. We're going to sit on the songs just for a little bit. Teachings, that's pretty good. I guess I should have uh, looked at when the scab was, or the blood, because I lost a mana by not casting the songs right before that. So now we have 16 mana, not the end of the world. Lotus Petal. Lotus Petal. Play the Blood Celebrant. Um, I have played my land. Scob. Exploit it. Get back a Songs of the Damned. Cast Songs. Sacrifice this for blue. Cast Teachings. Songs, flashback teachings. We should be able to start to win the game now. And why not? Let's uh, jumpstart this uh, Dahada's playing against my life. Cycle. 16 cards left in deck. Cycle. Cycle. Dark Ritual. And then we'll just bring everyone home. Okay, I'm not going to bother doing any sort of cycling tricks with um, these Reaping the Graves on the stack. We've used a bunch of Songs of the Damned at this point. No need to maximize creature count. We're just going to start playing Stingers and start blasting. Ten minutes left on the clock, 13 cards in deck. All right, adding some red mana. One thing I'd like to note is that this is our second match against the Boros deck. We have not needed Flaring Pain. Uh, that's a card that I cut and I honestly haven't looked back on. Uh, like when I saw the Seeker of the Way here, I thought, hey, this could be Bully and not Bounce because that's those are really the two uh, Boros variants in the format at the moment. But like Flaring Pain is just such a garbage card and you never want it whenever you have it. And most of the time you can beat the players that do have it just by playing better. Cycle. Okay, there's another one. Cycle. Again. And we'll end this with a dino. So that was match number five. We are now four and one. Coming into this round, we were in eight, the ninth seed. So our breakers are middle of the road. Uh, so I'm definitely going to need to win out, I think, in order to top eight this thing. But hey, one round at a time. I'll see you in match number six. Don't go anywhere.
Okay, round number six, we're on the play. This seems fine, we'll try this out. Not really sure what our opponent's playing. Bearmore and pass the turn. Okay, bridge. Upkeep, let's just grab an island here. Whoops. Okay, Cabal Ritual is a good draw. We'll cycle. Blood Celebrant. Vault of Whispers. Vampire's Kiss. So it's the Rakdos Burn deck again. Draw. Let's cycle the Horror. Looking for land three here. Ploy's decent. Cycle the Vantasaur. No land three. Pass the turn. Faithless Looting, okay. Likely a Madness card coming off this. It's really important that we win game number one here, because the post board games can be pretty brutal. Fiery Temper and Fodder Tosser, so we'll take three going down to 15. They still have five cards. Okay, draw. Architects. Uh, let's cycle. Dark Ritual, okay. Um, I mean, we could theoretically try to go for it here. Let's cycle the Architects. I don't have to make a decision yet. Hmm. I think I'm supposed to just pass and discard. I'm going to get rid of the Blood Celebrant. Looks like they're going to use a Blood Token to filter here. Discard Swamp. Blood Celebrant down. Land number four, they have five cards. Faithless Looting. Uh, Fiery Temper and another Looting were discarded. Ouch. We're at 12... Well, Darren, Epicure, you got it. All right, so now it's, I think now's the time to go. Dark Ritual. And another one. Okay. Thankfully, they hit the F6 key and I can just do my thing. All right, Cycle. Hello, Songs. Cycle. Again. Um, I'm going to ploy here. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to discard the Teachings. Cycle Street Wraith. Land for turn. Songs for 10. I'm going to flash back the Teachings here just because it gives us a little bit more mana. It's not a whole lot, but it's something. And then Reaping Floating 12. This is going to return everything but one creature. And I think for now we can probably leave the Blood Celebrant in the graveyard. Cycle. Okay. And again. Lots of lands. Keep cycling. Cycle the Street Wraith. Hello, Cabal Ritual. Cycle. Cabal Ritual. Cycle this Baron more. Cycle. Okay. 25 cards in the deck at the moment. There's a Scob to get back songs. Teachings. Cycle. All right, Vantasaur comes back. Actually, can I play this? I cannot. All right, cycle the Vantasaur. All right, I'm going to start off by just grabbing a main deck. Uh, songs here in case for some reason, and I doubt this would ever be the case, but just in case your opponent has a main deck removal spell for a single black mana, you don't get uh, crushed by it on your scob. 
I know uh, like it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to play around these weird corner cases, but like it feels sort of free. Get back the songs of the damned. Cast songs. Um Honestly, I feel like we can just start winning now. We'll return Blood Celebrant this time. Okay, everyone's now coming back. All right, opponent's going to save us some clicks. Thank you to them, and uh, we're off to game two. So now we have to decide, do we want to try to beat the burn half of the deck, or do we want to board in the Shredded Sails for the Graveyard Hate? Um, looking at a recent list, this is not them, this is just the deck in general. Uh, there's two Nile Spellbomb, two Duress in this list. Um, looking at this one, two Spellbomb, two Duress. Our previous opponent never drew their spell bomb, so I feel like we got kind of lucky there. Um, two spell bomb, two duress. I think we should just like ignore spell bomb because it's so tough to beat anyway. Um, brought out a petal, one teachings, and these two. All right, I'm going to try this out. I'm going to try leaving in all four Street Wraith when we're going up to four life gain effects. I don't know how much I'll like it, but Street Wraith does make comboing a lot more smooth. And this seems okay. Game two. Great Furnace. We'll dare an Epicure. Draw. Okay. Black Source. We'll take one down to 18. And they're just passing. Interesting. All right, I'm going to cycle the Vantasaur. I don't want to cycle the Ash Barons yet, because if we draw into a Black Source, I want to be able to get a green with this. And we'll take three off Fiery Temper. That's fine. Um, but I want to be able to keep my Ash Barons open to possibly getting the green source. Draw off the Vantasaur. Okay. Draw. I'm going to put myself to 11 here and cycle these street rates. There's a black source. Okay. Pass the turn. And there's spell bomb. Uh, yep. It's going to be tough. All right. So we're going to 12. I think we just cycle the Ash Barons here. Let's grab the forest. Draw. And pass. Bolts, I'm at nine. Could be dead here. Three cards in hand. Alms, so I go to six. Pretty much now or never. And I'm at five. Cycle. Hmm. Cycle the Street Wraith. All right, cycle Healer. I'm on another Black Source. Come on, try to spell on me now, please. Come on, deck. Please draw Black Source. Draw. Nope. Okay, uh, Dark Ritual. Please don't bite. Please don't bite. All right, so that result, that's good. That's step one. That gives me Threshold, so now I can Cabal Ritual. We should be able to beat Spellbomb here. Okay, um, Songs. This is like one of the weird things about Spell Bomb compared to Relic is that um, the fact that it doesn't eat your graveyard in between like really helps me. All right, so now we teachings. Come on, Spell Bomb me. Do it. Okay, so with that on the stack, I'm going to return our creatures. 
And honestly, I think I might just go get a gnaw to the bone here. Make sure that I stay alive. Like, because there's a chance that I would fizzle here. And that's just like not a concern um, if I get gnaw. Actually, I should cycle with the teachings on the stack, I think. That would actually be the better play. So let's cycle. Again. Cycle. Cycle. Keep it going. That's good. Cycle. Cabal Ritual. I'll go to one. Okay, so I'm going to allow this to resolve. I'm going to go get Nod to the Bone. I'm going to cast... Uh, can I play this? I can. That's good. Cast Nod. Okay, and now I can cycle this. Songs of the Damned. Blood Celebrant. We'll add blue, repository scob, exploit, return the songs, cast songs, and return the repository scob. Storm 12. Okay, we're just going to return everyone here. It's not a big deal. Alright, we're at 12, and I can flash back a gnaw to the bone at any point. Cycle the Street Wraith. Again. Dark Ritual. Cycle. Cycle the Street Wraith down to 6 life. Lotus Petal. Cycle the Vantasaur. Another gnaw to the bone, okay. 28 cards in deck. Keep cycling. Alright, so I need to get back songs here. Sacrifice for a blue. Repository scob. Exploit. Return the songs of the damned. I need to see how many songs are exiled, by the way. We have two in exile. So this makes 11 black mana. Let's cycle the stinger. Cycle the horror. Okay. Um, I'm going to cycle this barren more. We have 21 cards in deck now. How do I want to do this? I think I'm just going to flashback teachings. Go get the last songs. And now we can return everyone. So the alternative to the line that I just took with the mystical teachings for songs is to play Reaping the Graves and only get back Repository Scob and then Scob again. Uh, they're pretty similar. And now I think I'm going to try to start to win the game. Okay, return everyone. We have no more Songs of the Damned left in our deck. Um, actually, should I just wait? Yeah, I think I'm supposed to just wait here. I feel like if I start uh, going for it now, I'm like potentially going to cost myself. Okay, cycle the stinger or the three wraith. I'm sorry. Okay, dark ritual is a good draw because I'm a little bit pinched on mana right now, and that's a concern of mine. Cycle the three wraith. Go to one life, add a blue. We'll play the ploy. Discard one of these cycle lands. So now we're at 26. Plenty of life to work with. Cycle. Just trying to add a little bit more mana here. All right, so I see a Lotus Petal and a Dark Ritual hidden over here behind me. 11 cards left in deck. I do have another repository scob that I'm drawing towards. There's a Cabal Ritual. Eight cards left. Cycle this healer. 
Oh, I have both repository scops. I'm just blind. Um, but I mean, most of you have seen me with my glasses on. You know that. Uh, Lotus Petal. Five cards in deck. Cycle. Another Cabal Ritual. Okay, it's probably time to just start getting the show on the road. All right, add a blue. We'll play the scob. Exploit. Get back songs. Adds 15 mana. We'll play the other repository scob. Exploit. Get back the other songs of the damned. Let's make the mana. Okay, and now we'll cast some stingers. We have a stinger somewhere in our bottom four cards. Uh, I, I could draw towards that, but I'm just not going to. We have plenty of fuel here. Okay, return all the cards. So many triggers. I guess they're not triggers. So many copies. They're copies of Reaping the Graves. This is how we bring all of our dead friends back to life on Easter Sunday. Okay. The only way we lose this now is my own incompetence, so let's just not do that. Cycle. Okay. So each cycle deals three damage. Only a couple more. And cycle. Okay, so we are now five and one with one round left to go. Winning in time. I'll see you there. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a Card Hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your Card Hoarder cart to make life simple for you. Round seven, winning in time, we're on the play. Coming into this round, I was second uh, in the standing, so I think even with a loss, there's a reasonable chance that I make it. That said, I don't want to count on that. I'd rather just win our match. That is the game plan here. We've opened up a very strong seven card hand with Swamp and Barrymore's lands to you know help us cycle. We have Reaping the Graves. I mean, this hand's pretty darn good. Uh, we're gonna lead on the Swamp here. And the reason that you're not leading on the Baron more is that you might want to cycle this depending on what your first few draws are. Evolving Wilds, okay. Let's cycle this Horror of the Broken Lands. Not really sure what they're playing quite yet. Street Wraith, okay, draw. I'm going to cycle the Wraith. Cycle Stinger. We'll just play our land and pass. Okay, so probably... Okay, I was going to say fairies, but it's fams. Okay, draw. Um, let's cycle the horror. Let's cycle this Ash Barons. Grab Island. And I'm just going to cycle the Architects. Okay, so it looks like we're ready to go off next turn, assuming that there's an open window for us. Okay, preordain, you got it. I do like my familiars matchup for what it's worth. I was a little concerned that they were on fairies, which like fairies is a matchup I can win, um, but it's certainly a little more tougher than uh, this matchup. And here they have one counter open, so I think we can just blow by that with this double songs. Okay, cycle like picking up the extra reaping the graves cycle the lotus petal can i have a songs of the damned no was the answer okay well songs again and now we're casting this reaping the graves for seven which will return everything but we only have five floating mana 
is always Street Wraith first and then the other cards. Okay. Cycle. Ball Ritual is a great draw. Cycle again. Hello. Okay. Um, why not? Let's cycle it. Street Wraith. This brings us down to 14. Cycle. Keep it going. That's good. <laughs> okay. It's songs number three of four. Go ball ritual, and then we'll return this stinger. Cycle. Island, dark ritual, lotus petal, songs of the damned, reaping the graves. Street wreath first, and then everyone else. I guess we have two street wreaths. I didn't realize that. Okay, so I think uh, we actually have enough resources here to just win the game. So instead of like taking forever and drawing our entire deck, I'm just going to play double stinger here and uh, start blasting. Okay. Double stinger on the table. Cycle down to 12 life. Auto yield to some triggers. Okay. And our opponent concedes. So we just have to get one of the post board games now. First time today boarding in Pyroblast. That's kind of wild. Round number seven. And we'll take out a Lotus Petal. Against Familiars, Repository Scob is super good. But they are a deck that boards into Spell against us. So Teachings um, might not be a card we want. Um, I'm definitely interested in boarding down on Architects of Will. That leaves us at 61, so I think we could probably shape one teachings. This looks fine to me. The reason you don't need ploy is like a familiars isn't an aggressive deck, so like the life gain aspect you can usually get off of healer. Or you just don't cycle that low. Opponent takes a mulligan. Alright. Island. Paramore past the turn. I'd like to draw land number two if possible. Azorius Chancery, sure. I like these lands in Pauper because they almost make up for mulligans. They're very good. Um, I'm going to cycle the Street Wraith, no land. Cycle the Horror, and no land again. Okay. I uh, think I'm going to get rid of the Celebrant here. Sunscape Familiar and the Island. Draw. Okay, cycle. Move to discard and, you know, we just need to find a, a land, really. Although if our opponent gives us a window here, I might try to just punk them and win the game. Three mana, deep analysis. Okay. Come on, tap out. Do it. Do it. Uh, draw. This gets us a red source. Pass the turn. Preordain is fine. Two cards in the bottom with the preordain and another Azorius Chancery. Seagate Oracle. If they play Snap here, I'm going to just immediately counter it with pyroblast all right i'm gonna cycle uh so this would be a window for them to snap and untap their chancery and another pyroblast i think we are going to just win this game now uh cabal ritual we have whatever sort of interaction they have covered waiting to see if cabal ritual resolves they're casting Prohibit, and we will counter the Prohibit. All right, cycle the Horror, because it will make two extra mana off those songs. And we'll do the cycle trick again, where eventually, ideally, I should say, um, we want the Reaping 
or I'm sorry, we want the songs to make more than seven by the time that it's done resolving. Street Wraith. That's the game plan here. More than seven. Cycle. Dark Ritual. Cycle this horror. The ball ritual's good. Cycle. Cycle. Okay, I like this. Need to find another payoff or a uh, repository scob. I don't think mana is the choke point, so I'm going to thin here. Cycle. Okay, We're running out of gas. Because this last one's returning a blood celebrant, so this healer needs to hit. Come on, deck, please. Make me nervous. Phew. Okay, we got there. And it ended up making 11 mana. Okay, we're going to top eight. Sacrifice the scob. We'll get back reaping the graves wherever it is. Return the scob. Street Wraith, Street Wraith, and then the rest. All right, five floating mana. Even if we fizzle from here, it's fine because we're not empty handed. Um, I have enough mana to get us songs here. So 13 mana cycle. Okay. Circle the healer. Go to seven life. That's another songs. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna return. Uh, actually, that was a mistake. I I should have cast songs if I was going to do that. Whoops. Okay, let's cycle these. Go to five life. Cycle. Cabal ritual. Let's cycle the Baron more. Another Cabal Ritual. And Songs. Okay, so we have 29 mana. Go down to 4. We'll play a Dranith Healer. Just so that way I don't have to worry about my life total. We did board out the... Um, the Hottest Ploy. So Healer's how we gain life. Add Blue. Back down to 4. Play the Scob. We're just going to get back a Songs of the Damned here, and then we can Reaping and win. Okay, Reaping the Graves, Return the Scob. It's from 23. Okay, everyone's been selected, and now they return. 14 cards in deck. Okay, stack is clearing. Remember, we're at 4 life, so I can't uh, go too low here. But we do have a healer in play, which means that all I have to do is cycle a few times. And I'll gain some life back. And now we're... Actually, I don't want to, like... I guess I can't possibly risk death the gut shot, so... Um, we'll go to one. Cycle the horror of the broken lands. Auto yield. Cycle horror. Okay. Up to four life now. Auto yield. Top eight, here we come. Only a few more cycles. Okay. And that will do. Six and one. Top eight, here we come. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss Legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. All right, top eight time. We're facing Sand Pop once again, who is on the Rakdos burn deck. We're on the play. 
So here we've opened up a hand that has a land and a couple cyclers, but the problem is that our land is a, a colorless land and we only have one land or one creature that cycles off this. So we have to take a mulligan here. Uh, this hand is much better. I think we're just gonna bottom the teachings and uh, keep this. Okay, keep, bottom the teachings, and uh, let's try it again. Okay, time to begin. So we're just gonna play Barrymore and pass the turn. Mountain. Well, Darren Epicure, sure. I love this deck, it's really sweet. Okay, Barrymore pass. Basically at this point, we just wanna cycle our creatures into more creatures. Vampire's Kiss, you got it. Triple Blood Token. All right, I'm just gonna cycle this healer. Okay, we need uh, creatures. Lotus Petal, cycle the Vantasaur. Yikes. Okay, that did not go well. Just need to draw a few creatures here. Fiery Temper. So we're going to go to 13, 12 with the attack step. Carnarium, sure thing. Draw. Doesn't help me, we need creatures. That's the turn. We just need to sit on this as long as we can. Um, there's a chance that we have to go for it next turn, no matter how many creatures we have. Fodder tosser. So we're gonna take one here down to nine. I'm sorry, uh, down to 11, nine with the fodder tosser. They have four cards. <sighs> really, Doc? I mean, I can't go for it. Like, I, I just have to let them kill me here. Um, because there, I can't stay alive. Or I, I can't win off two cards. All right, we're at six and they have two cards in hand. Okay, they discard a land. Discards to another land. Are you really going to give me another turn? I find that hard to believe. They have three cards in hand. Alms of the Vein. So this would be lethal. Um, so the only chance I have of winning this now is if I hit the... Um, what is it called? Why can't I think of its name? The hottest ploy. Okay. So now we cycle. Another reaping. I mean, I have to hit the ploy in order to stay alive, so I, I just have to uh, cycle into it here. Fall Ritual, Cycle the Baron more, Cycle Stinger, Cycle Healer, come on Doc, and we're dead. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm just going to concede here, it's fine. All right, so now we have to win the post board games that are harder against the deck with Nile Spellbomb in it. That was brutal. Hmm. You know, I'm still going to go. Like, I was thinking there about, like, if we should bring in the Shredded Sails. I think we still want the Gnaw Plan. All right. Game two on the play versus Rakdos Burn. I'm going to keep this one. We're never going to beat an Isle Spell Bomb, but I don't know. All right, start off by cycling Street Rate, see if we can hit a land. And we do. That's a good start. Okay. Great Furnace and Voldaren Epicure. Upkeep, let's go get the, uh, the forest. Draw. Another Horror. Another Voldaren Epicure, okay. And we've been bumped. 
So the tax step brings us down to 12 here. Cycle. Draw. Question is if I want to grab the island or not. I think the answer is we do. Cycle. Cycle. Pass. Land number three, looting. They discard two cards that are not um, madness cards and a duress. The, the duress doesn't really matter here. Two cards in the opponent's hand. They take a Songs of the Damned. And we're going to take two here down to ten. Draw. Let's cycle the stinger. Cycle the blood, or I'm sorry, the imposing vantasaur. I got a blocker. Pass the turn. We're at seven. We could be dead here. Move to blocks. Maybe I underrated them. Um, I didn't think that they would be able to kill me here because they only had two cards, but. This is just two three mana burn or two three damage burn spells. Maybe I should have gone for it by cycling on my main phase. Duress. So they hit a songs here. Come on, not to the bone. Alright, let's start off on cycling the street ray threat for Dark Ritual. Cycle the horror. This is not looking good. Um Cycle Vantasaur. It's something. So this would gain three life up to seven. Hmm. I actually wonder if I'm supposed to Cabal Ritual here. And I think the answer is yes. Um, Because that way I can flash back the ploy. All right, let's cycle the Street Wraith. And then we're going to jumpstart ploy. All right, so that gave us a little bit of a buffer, but obviously we still have a lot of work to do, and they don't sack the blood tokens. Interesting, because they have... Um, what is it called? Spellbomb in their deck, so they should be wanting to dig for it. And I get bumped. They have two cards in hand. Still two cards in hand. So now we go to nine. 33 cards left in my deck. Um, I'm just going to cycle here. Pass the turn. Gav Blast. All right, so I know that their last card in hand is a land. Am I dead? They discard the land to the blood token. So this would put me to three. What's your last card? It's Carnarium. So I will get another turn here. Okay, so I wonder if I'm supposed to Reaping the Graves um, and just cycle a few times so I can possibly hit the Gnaw to the Bone. I think the answer is probably just yes. So this is going to return three creatures. It's not a whole lot. Okay. Cycle the horror. Cycle stinger. Another reaping. Cycle vantasaur. Cycle healer. All right, we hit Gnaw. About time. We have three of them in our deck. Cycle. Cycle. Let's gain some life. 32. Faithless Looting. Kitchen Imp. 
Lightning Bolt. Okay. So we'll take three here, going down to 26. Draw. Let's cycle the Horror. Cycle this uh, Healer. I'm going to play the Ash Barons, and I'm going to cycle Horror, then flash back the Gnaw. Pass. Another Looting. And another Kitchen Imp. Okay, so I think we're going to go for it on our turn. We can't risk uh, a Spell Bomb any further. Ding. Okay. Songs of the Damned. I'm going to play uh, this Repository Scott back and just get a Reaping the Graves. And now we'll return the Scob. Uh, the Blood Celebrant's in here. We'll return some Stingers. All right, Celebrant. Red. Red. Play Stinger. Play Stinger. Tap, Scob. Exploit, and we will get back a Songs of the Damned. Cast songs, reaping the graves, and 10 is going to be enough, or should be enough, I should say. Our opponent concedes. Game three coming up. Okay. I'm just going to resubmit the same list. Game three on the draw. We have no uh, creatures at all in this hand. We can't keep that. Oh no, am I going to mulligan myself out of this event? Uh, I guess we keep. I know it's crazy. I think you're supposed to bottom both of these. So our opponent's deck has duress in it. And if they duress us, at least we still have a gnaw to the bone. And we ideally want to cantrip a little bit. I think that this is fine. We drew another reaping. I won't complain about that, but it does leave us a little bit weak to the thought seize. Another Voldaren Epicure. Okay. Take one. Draw. Island and pass the turn. Mulligan to five was not ideal. Yeah. We're uh, dying very quick. Opponent still has four cards in hand. We're taking two here. Down to 11. There's a black source. And they have the spell bomb. We're done. We're not winning this. Yep. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. <laughs> uh, I am dead. Cycle. Cycle. Draw. I have two cards. Go to nine. Cycle this. So Blood Celebrant can technically um, cast the Gnaw. I'm at six. I have one card in hand. Two cards after their draw step. I'm going to four. They play to land. And I'm just dead if they have a blaster or something. I'm just not going to play around it. Are they thinking about using the spell bomb here? Draw. All right, Dark Ritual. If they respond with the spell bomb, I can cast an offer 10 life. And let's see if they let me uh, return these.
Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.